Hello everyone, this is King Kong IoT. In this video, I will tell you how to integrate our KC868COL logical controller to your home assistant. Uh, because this logical controller uh, not only can automatically control uh, the output with the input part, it also can read many uh, sensor state, uh, such as the analog sensor and the digital sensor and the temperature sensor. Many kinds of sensor can be uh, read the date. So we can see how to integrate to Home Assistant. This is our Home Assistant dashboard. Uh, this I have already integrated the COL to the Home Assistant. You can see this is 16 channel analog input and this is digital input for 16 channel. And also you can uh, display the temperature, uh, five channel temperature. I can I just only put one temperature. Uh, you just can put many channels according to you decide. So firstly, uh, what is the KC868 COL logical controller? This is KC868 uh, COL. Uh, you can see this is the temperature sensor input and uh, this IS232 point uh, connect with the relay board and also can connect with other uh, switch terminal board. And this is for the sensor input, uh, many channels. Uh, this is analog uh, for 16 channel and this is digital input for 16 channel. So 16, 16 and the 5 channel of temperature the total can connect with 37 channel uh, sensor. So it's, I think it's enough for your home automation to use. And what sensor can be used? I have taken some example. This is a water level sensor. Uh, this can put the water tank and when the level, water level high, and the, the output will the output signal will be on and close signal. So this is for detect the water level. This is for gas, gas sensor. Also output digital signal. This is for smoking, smoking sensor. Also for digital input, detect smoke. And this is for door sensor, uh, it's magnet magnetic so you can in install this on the window uh, on the door detect the door is open or closed and this is soil temperature and humidity sensor uh, it's, it's used for agriculture you can detect the soil the temperature and the humidity and this you can see is CO2 gas sensor uh, you can detect a CO2 gas. This also is analog output signal, just like the uh, humidity and the temperature. And this is light sensor. It can detect the light, uh, the sunshine, also for the agriculture, this output analog signal. And you can see this. This is a water level. The different from the uh, what level sensor for the digital, just this sensor can detect the value of the water level. The first we have uh, see, you see the sensor is just, you, we can see the state is high or low, but this can see the level uh, from zero to five meters, uh, how, the, how much the what level is detect can use this one. It's also output analog signal. And this is a PIR sensor. It's human motion sensor. Just detect whether you have human or some, somebody in your home, in your room. Use this. This is digital output. And this also is useful. This is power future sensor. You can see this is A, B, C, and N. So it can detect whether uh, the power is future. If you have three phase power, every phase if power future, it can detect it. This output is digital signal output. We have seen many kinds of sensors. 
uh, not only the COL only support this, I have see uh, I have let you see the sensor, but also just support any digital input and any analog input from zero to five sensor can be used. So you can use many 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 sensors just according to types uh, support. So let's begin uh, use the COL uh, connect with the network cable and the power. We can show you how to integrate it to the home assistant. We connect the network cable and the power. The power is DC 12 voltage. Now I will uh, save the time. I have three temperature sensor already uh, connected with this socket. We just replace the socket. Okay. I also use a line connect with this point. This point is analog input, this point. Okay, we will test for this. Now we power on. Okay, the hardware is ready. Now we will use the home assistant. Because I integrate the COL to the home assistant is by the node red. So we can install the node red and the home assistant component firstly. Uh, I have already created the node red nodes and the follows of the COL. So you can just download from our website, uh, from our official website and this software and document, just this page and you can uh, through. And this you can see the KC 868COL for node red photo nodes file. Uh, this one you can download is a zip file. You can unzip. Then you will go to the node red. Go to the node red and use the import import to uh, from the nodes you have downloaded. Uh, when you import the nodes, all these blue nodes is not exist. Because this is I have add the entity ID just this note uh, to the exist follow. Uh, you can see this video on the YouTube. Uh, this is a home automation DIY by Node Red. I have uh, take a video list. Uh, you can see the five. This is number five is how to use the sensor uh, for the COL to monitor the device. So it's, it's very detailed, and I have already explained the how to work and the why setting for this. And this is the node red already can have the web web interface to show you all this temperature sensor and the COL uh, state. I like this. Uh, we can also already get the state uh, from the input, digital input, and the temporary sensor and the analog sensor. So when you import to the home assistant uh, by the node red, all these nodes have already worked fine. You just add this, this list. And you, when you op open the follow, you can see the first follow is the auto report. This is a but button. And this is the TCPE node. You can set the COL's IP address and the port just according to your network setting. And this uh, wall switch and the Google Home is our uh, before video have created. You cannot, you not need to see. That is for wall switch and the Google Home speak uh, to country our relay box. And the second is the input state, the node. And just add this uh, at a late Later, I will tell you how to set in. And this analog, analog also have this diagram. And this node before is uh, 
connect to this yellow one directly. I have added this node uh, for Home Assistant, and this is the temperature. This is the temperature sensor. Also, is I added. Uh, this is the power meter. Uh, you cannot need to use. I have uh, go on with the development. So you can see the input state, analog value, and the temperature. When you add the add entity ID uh, for the digital input, you just uh, set the server is home assistant, and the type is binary sense because the digital input only have zero or one uh, two state, so it's binary sense. And this is the name. Uh, I have uh, named uh, in input one. Uh, you can change any you want. It. This name, just this name. So you can change it to any input, uh, such as door sensor, PIR sensor, or other sensor state, just according to you. And this is icon. If you use default, uh, you not need to add the icon. And the digital input is very easy. Just copy this node from uh, this entity ID and uh, all connect with the LAN. Just uh, every node uh, changes the name, a uh, different name. You can see the different device. And the analog, uh, just, add the, just add the entity ID. You can double click. Also, the server is home assistant and the type I choose sense, not the binary sense. This is the sensor. And the name, uh, I, I have named analog one. Uh, this analog one name just uh, is this one, this one. And uh, this is the unit, unit. The voltage analog is uh, from zero to five voltage. Uh, so I have used uh, that V. If you have connect without what what level sensor you can use the unit for a meter? Or if you have a pressure sensor, you can use the unit for Pascal, uh, just according to your sensor uh, detector, which signal type. OK. Uh, you just add all these sensors in the same way. The next is the temperature. The temperature, I have created five temperature entity ID on this and double click you can see this server is home assistant type is sensor and its name is temperature one uh, CL temperature one uh, just this one temperature one and also I not change the icon and the unit is this unit also you can change if you want to use F uh, you can change so all this you have Added uh, because I order to see the see the time, so I have already ordered added this nodes already. When when you just edit, you can deploy. Then deploy, you can go to the configuration. You can go to the configuration, and uh, you can see the integration. Then you can see the node red. You have found. Uh, 39 entity ID. So this is we have create uh, the entity ID from the node red. Uh, we have by temperature. Then you can go to our view and uh, use a UI design. Uh, I can also add our temperature. For example, we can go to this add dashboard and add. If I Entity, we can add a temperature two. This is a temperature two, and uh, this is real state. C. Now you can see the temperature two is this. So. Uh, let's test uh, the value changed. We can use the iPad to test the temperature. Where I hand with the temperature, you can see this is 
begin up. Also, you can put this temperature uh, to the what? Now we can test the digital input. If the sensor is close, we can see You can see this uh, digital input one. When I shot, uh, you can see it will be on. And when I when I remove, uh, this will be off. When I shot, shot for this on. And the digital input two and the three. And four. So this can be changed. And now we can test the analog. This is analog input one. You can connect with your such as what level and other analog sensor. If I connect with a three voltage. Uh, you can see the display is 66. This is 66 uh, percent, not the voltage. So we can change the range. We can see this node red. Uh, for example, this one. You can see the range node. When mini is zero and the max is five watch. If we can use zero to five, just uh, it will display the voltage. If you want one zero and from the five max indicate the zero to one hundred percent, so it will uh, display the percent of the range. So just according to you, use wood sensor. If we can change to five, and we deploy. Then we can test again. Now we also give three voltage. You can see the analog one is three. I remove the hand is zero. If I connect with the five voltage, this is five voltage. So the analog is displayed five voltage. So just uh, you can connect any analog uh, from zero to five sensor. You can detect, and uh, you also can change the name and the range and the unit. So at this time, you have list all your digital input and the analog input and the temperature sensor to your home assistant. You can see this real state of the value, and also you can use a triangle uh, for things, for automation in Home Assistant, uh, such as uh, some relay on and some relay off. Or you can triangle for send notification, uh, send email, or send other message to your user mobile phone. This is just according to the Home Assistant. So it's very interesting. Uh, thanks for watching.